a detailed description of Avengers 4 may have leaked online. Wow. It originated on Reddit, but not long after it was posted, it was removed. But thanks to the internet, nothing is ever really removed. The removal of the description leads to speculation that this could actually be a legit description, but we'll only know for sure once the trailer is actually released. If the words of Kevin Feige himself are anything to go by, it could be a couple of months before we finally get to see the trailer for Avengers 4, as well as the long overdue official title reveal. But while we wait for these two pivotal steps in the film's promotion, one user on Reddit claims to have not knowledge of both. All of the information is exciting to read. It hits a few points of things that have been speculated on and shed some light on many more things including details on the surviving Avengers characters. It also says the title of the film will be Avengers Annihilation. If this turns out to be true, it sounds absolutely incredible. If it turns out to be a fan-made description, it's still an entertaining read that entertains the idea on how things could go down in the story. I know some of you may just want to dive into it, but here's your spoiler alert. All right, here we go. The trailer starts off showing the damaged Infinity Gauntlet in a field on the farm planet. As the camera focuses in on the gauntlet, we hear Tony's voice. We were destined to lose. Epic music score starts. The Quinjet is shown landing in a Wakandan wasteland as we hear Steve Rogers say, we have come so far. Tony and Nebula step off the jet as the remaining Avengers approach. Steve has a look of relief and says, Tony, Tony seemingly defeated shakes his head and gives a friendly smirk back to Cap. Then the Marvel Studios logo appears. We get a glimpse of the Battle of New York from 2012 Avengers. Loki is shown looking shocked and baffled as he is on top of the Stark Tower. There is a flash of blue light as the camera pans back. Cuts to black. Next we see the Wakandan throne with M'Baku at the helm. He's surrounded by his new Kingsguard, a mix of the Hill Tribe and Dora Milaje. Shuri and Banner are seen working on a new project in the lab. Black Widow in full gear is in Hawkeye's family home from the Age of Ultron. Basically, everything is thrown all over the place and broken. Nat is studying some type of map with multiple photos and locations on it. A quick shot of Thanos is shown with a long sword walking down an alleyway in New York City. The next shot is a dark hooded figure with glowing eyes aiming a bow and arrow before shooting towards the camera. One to two visuals of the quantum realm, Scott Lang in no suit, is shown running through a park dodging explosions. Then a shot of space. Thor and Valkyrie are aboard a Kree ship. Thor says, quote, If the stories are true, you're our universe's last hope, if such a thing even exists anymore. The next shot is an older, determined Tony Stark walking through the new S.H.I.E.L.D.'s headquarters, Avengers facility in upstate New York. He's in full S.H.I.E.L.D. attire and carrying an orange briefcase. Banner, who is wearing spandex, is seen running from something, looking terrified. The next shot is Ant-Man appearing out of a flash of light and landing in a desolate place. We see it from his point of view from inside his helmet. He looks left to right and to his left again and says, What in the? Camera then focuses on Vormir and its stars. Next, a shot of Rocket and Nebula modifying some new weapons in the lab. Rocket says, When can we try this bad boy out? They both smile at each other and fist bump. We get our first glimpse of Iron Man in his red and gold nanotech armor. Hulk falls from the sky and lands in front of him. Thanos in full armor smiles. Hulk smiles back. The next shot is in Japan. War Machine, Nat, and Steve in their full Avengers gear are surrounded by the Yakuza. Hawkeye, who will be Ronin, walks through everybody from behind them and approaches the Avengers. There's an intense exchange of looks between Clint and Natasha. Next shot is at the Sanctum. Wong is communicating with Doctor Strange's soul via portal. Then it cuts to black. Then a gray-haired Tony Stark and Ant-Man are in a post-apocalyptic New York City. The screen flashes back and forth multiple times through multiple scenes. We see Captain Marvel floating with her fist on fire and her eyes lit up. Thanos in the Soul Stone with young Gamora screaming at him, Loki and Thor fighting off Chitauri together, and Tony handling Steve a brand new shield in the Wakandan throne room. Then it cuts back to Tony and Scott. Tony opens the orange briefcase as Scott hands him an illuminated bracelet. Tony then asks, how? How is this even possible? Iron Man and Ant-Man are shown traveling through the quantum realm. Tony and Scott are back in the Battle of New York from 2012. The final shot before the title reveal is an Infinity Stone disappearing from Thanos' damaged gauntlet. He abruptly gets up and puts on his armor. His face goes from extremely infuriated to a menacing smile. Then there's the title reveal, Avengers Annihilation. Then the Stinger. The Hulk is training at the new S.H.I.E.L.D. facility with Black Widow and Steve. Steve notices that Hulk has been training non-stop as of late. So he asks why. Hulk responds in Banner's normal voice with, My rematch is coming real soon. I can feel it. So there you have it. 
There's the whole description. Tell us what you think. Let Nine Media know in the comments below what you think about the supposed leaked trailer info. Nine Media will respond to the first view we see. My name is Blaine from Nine Media. We appreciate you sticking around until the end.